Hello, so today I want to share with you my layering combinations for January of 2023. I decided to start out this year with Champagne Sprinkles, which is one of my absolute favorite scents. It's basically like raspberry icing. It's so sweet. It's so good. And this is actually my last set of it, so that was kind of sad, but you know, you got to use it up. So I decided to pair it with Tea's Sugar Floor by Victoria's Secret, which is just a really sweet, fruity scent. I absolutely love this perfume, and together, these were perfection. Next up, I decided to pair Champagne Sprinkles with Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. This is a newer scent in my collection, but I absolutely love this scent. I do wish it was stronger. It doesn't have great lasting power, but I absolutely love the way it smells. It's sweet. It's kind of chocolatey. It kind of gives me Beach Nights vibes, even though it doesn't really smell like Beach Nights, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. So I look forward to pairing this with some of my other scents now that I don't have Champagne Sprinkles anymore, but I really like this perfume. It's a good one. So next up, I decided to use Slay Ride and Snuggles. So this is like a vanilla balsam scent. It has like, it's like a sweet Christmas tree. It's, it's a really interesting scent. And I've never smelled anything like this from any Bath and Body Works before. I decided to pair it with Ariana Grande's Cloud, which as you may know, I don't love Cloud, but it added some sweetness to it. I mean, it was a nice combination. So I went ahead and used it. I didn't love it. And I definitely won't repurchase Cloud when I am done with it. Next up for Sleigh Ride and Snuggles, I decided to pair it with Pure Vanilla by La Vanilla, which is just a basic sweet vanilla scent. I do really like this perfume, and it just added more vanilla sweetness to the Sleigh Ride and Snuggles. It was a good combination. Next, I moved on to Autumn Drive, which I absolutely love Autumn Drive. To me, it's just a sweet raspberry scent. I know that it has like woods notes and stuff in it, but I don't smell that. So it's just a sweet raspberry. I decided to pair it with Frosted Animal Cookie by Sugar Milk Co., which basically just smells like a frosted animal cookie. So just add a little bit more sweetness to it. And then I used Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. I really like this one. It is like fruity and sweet. It's completely different than the original Donna Born in Roma. And I absolutely love this perfume and I can't wait to get more uses out of it this summer. So next up, I decided to pair my Autumn Drive again with the Frosted Animal Cookie from Sugar Milk Co. And then I decided to use Beyond Romance by Ralph Lauren. I love this perfume. I've talked about it many times. It's just a sweet raspberry scent, so it pairs amazingly well with Autumn Drive. Such a good combination. So next up, I had a travel size set of Strawberry Pound Cake that I needed to use up because the lotion was starting to turn kind of brown and funky, as you can see in the picture. And I decided to pair it with uh, Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande, which is just a sweet scent. I mean, I don't think it's anything special, but I do like it. I mean, I'll use this bottle up. It's not something I necessarily repurchase, but I love strawberry pound cake. So to me, as long as strawberry pound cake is in the combination, it's going to be great. So next up, I decided to use Sweet Whiskey. This is just a vanilla bourbon scent with berries. It's such a good scent. It's, it's really strong. It's pretty heavy. But I absolutely love it. And I decided to pair it with Mod Vanilla by Ariana Grande. I got this one for Christmas. And there's a lot of YouTube reviews going around that it smells like Cloud with extra vanilla. And I 100% agree with that. So I don't really like Cloud, but I like it a whole lot better when it has vanilla in it. It kind of takes that edge off and gives it more sweetness. And I really actually like this combination. Next up, to finish out Sweet Whiskey, I decided to pair it with Wicked by Victoria's Secret, which they just had in their semi-annual sale, if you happen to get it. It is just a sweet vanilla scent. It's nice. I love vanilla perfumes, obviously, because I have a whole bunch of them. This one's not real strong. Like, it doesn't last a long time. But I actually do really like it. And for the sale price that you could get it at semi-annual, it was definitely worth it. Next, I moved on to Enchanting Candy Potion, which is just a really sweet candy smell. Like, it kind of reminds me of the smell like when you walk into a candy store and you're just hit with that sugary sweet smell. Like, this is what it reminds me of. I decided to pair it with the Candy Cosmos by Sugar Milk Co., which is just a really nice kind of strawberry peach candy scent. I don't even know exactly how to explain it, but it's really, really good. And then I decided to pair it with Yes, I Am Fabulous by Casherelle. So I got all the Casherelle perfumes from Nordstrom's Rack for a really good price. I think they were like $10 each. And you know, I don't actually love them. I have to say this is probably one of my favorites out of all the ones that I have, but they're definitely not something that I would repurchase again. Next up to finish off Enchanted Candy Potion, I again used the Candy Cosmos by Sugar Milk Co. And I paired it with Black Opium Neon, which I've talked about before in several videos. This is just like a berry, sweet scent. It doesn't smell anything like black opium, but I absolutely love this perfume. 
and I like to pair it with as many things as I can think of and this was a good one I like this one so next I moved on to Wicked Vanilla Woods, which is just like a spicy vanilla. So this actually came out in 2021 and it was an online exclusive and I completely passed on it because it has a pink pepper note and I was just like, I'm not going to like that. So when it came in stores in 2022, I decided to actually smell it. And it's actually a really nice vanilla scent. It's just like a spicy vanilla. I decided to pair it with Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Supreme, which is just like a nutty sweet scent. And it, it was really nice together. I like this one. So next, I decided to pair Wicked Vanilla Woods with Kayali Vanilla 28, which is a spicy vanilla. So when I first smelled Wicked Vanilla Woods, this was the first scent I thought of. Like, they smell very similar, in my opinion. You can see that my Kayali is aging well. It is getting darker and darker and smelling better and better. Next, I decided to move on to Pink Suede, which is just like a berries and cotton kind of scent. It's sweet. It's nice. It's enjoyable. It's not memorable though. I only bought one set of this and so now that it's out on my collection, I actually probably won't ever miss it. I decided to pair it with Menajesty by Nicki Minaj, which is just a fruity floral scent and together it was a beautiful combination. Next I decided to pair my pink suede with Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. I love this perfume. It is so sweet and it makes me so happy and it's so fun and it's fruity it's just such a great scent it's a newer one in my collection and i can't wait to pair it with so many things this summer it went really well with the berries and pink suede and together this was such a beautiful combination i absolutely loved it next i moved on to warm vanilla sugar which i think most people know what it smells like it's just like a little bit of floral and vanilla so this one's obviously light as it has been in all the past years of Bath and Body Works. And I decided to pair it with Olympia Legend by Paco Rabanne. So this is a newer scent in my collection and I'm just not quite sure how I feel about it. Like it's sweet and salty. Like it kind of reminds me of honey. I don't know why because honey's not in the notes. But to me like when I smell it that's what it reminds me of like salty honey. So I had to play around with this one a little bit more and I'm... I'm sure I'll find other combinations that I'll like better with it. Next, I moved on to Prairie Warm Vanilla Sugar with La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So this is a really nice scent. It's pear, it's sweet, it's really good. I do wish that I would have bought the Le Parfum version because that one doesn't have vetiver in it. So like that one's just supposed to be really, really sweet. But I do like this one. And together, these were really nice. And I will get that Le, Le Parfum version, but... I'll probably wait until after I'm done with this bottle that I already have. Next, I moved on to Beach Nights, which is just a marshmallow beachy scent. I absolutely love this scent. It's one of my favorites. Top five, probably, from Bath & Body Works. And I decided to pair it with Casherel. Yes, I am delicious. So this is their newest one. And on the opening, it has a beautiful chocolate note. But that fades, and it just becomes super citrusy mandarin. And... If they had left the chocolate note, like, all throughout, like, I would be in love with this perfume. But that citrus note just kind of kills it for me, so I don't love that one. Next, I paired my Beach Nights with Billie Eilish Eilish, which, as you've read, if you've ever seen any of my other videos, you know that I love this perfume. It is spicy vanilla, it is sweet, it is such a good scent, and I have to stop myself from wearing the whole bottle every month. Like, I would pair it with everything if... I could. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm try I try not to do that. I try not to repeat my scents every month because I want to get all of my collection a fair use. So, but this one, top notch. Absolutely delicious. Next, I moved on to Sunrise Woods, which is another berry cashmere scent. I feel like I've used a lot of those this month, but this one was really light. I was surprised. So I remember the first year it came out, it was a whole lot heavier, but this one was light. Like I had to spray it a lot to be able to smell it. And I decided to pair it with Versace's Eros Pour Femme, which I absolutely love this perfume. This was just a little scent bird vial, but I do plan on getting the full size eventually. Like, I have so many perfumes right now, I'm trying to cut back on buying them. So, you know, maybe when I use up some of my other ones, I will bring that one in. So next, I use my Sunrise Woods with Dazzle by Paris Hilton, which is just like a peachy, bubbly... Scent. I really like this scent. I think it's really nice, especially for the price. It's always a really good deal on Paris Hilton perfumes. If you can find them at Ross or TJ Maxx or even at Fragrance Net. Like this is a really good perfume. And if you haven't tried it you and you like fruity perfumes, you should probably give it a shot. Together, this was a nice combination. 
Next, I moved on to Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. I decided to pair it with Birthday Cake by Sugar Milk Co. and then Guess Seductive Noir. So Vanilla Confetti Sparkle is just confetti cake pop. So it just smells like a vanilla cake. Such a good scent. And then with the Birthday Cake oil just added more of that cakiness to it. And then Guess Seductive Noir reminds me a lot of Into the Night. Like it has that same like kind of dark raspberry and it's still not my favorite scent. Like I wouldn't repurchase this one after I'm done with it. But you know, as Kayla Michelle talks about, Into the Night is really good with Confetti Cake Pop. And so that's what I decided to use it with because I know that I like that combination because I've used it before and I definitely want to get this juiced up and out of my collection. Moving on, I decided to pair my Vanilla Confetti Sparkle again with the Sugar Milk Co. Oil and the Birthday Cake and then Gold Couture by Juicy Couture, which is a beautiful caramel fragrance. If you haven't smelled this and you like sweet fragrances, this is one that you should get. It lasts a long time. It's really just a beautiful scent and together this was so so nice. Next I moved on to Summer Melody which is just honeydew and vanilla. I love this scent. It is just makes me so happy. It's happy and light and sweet and fun. It's just such a good scent and I decided to pair it with the Summer Melody perfume of course and then I used the Mango Cupcake Oil by Sugar Milk Co. This is just a sweet mango scent. I don't really smell cupcake in it. It's just sweet mango. And I absolutely love this oil. And I think these go together amazingly well. Next, I decided to pair my Summer Melody with Vanille by Outreamer. This is a cotton candy vanilla perfume. It is so sweet. It is so good for layering. And it just added more sweetness to Summer Melody. And it was perfection. I've never had a bad combination using Vanille though. So just putting that out there like it goes with everything so next up I decided to move on to coconut cream pie this is one of my favorite gourmand scents from Bath and Body Works you can smell every single note that's in this the toasted coconut the pie crust and the caramel and it's a really strong scent I decided to pair it with butterbeer oil by Sugar Milk Co which is from their Harry Potter collection it basically just smells like butterscotch it's a really good scent and then on top of that I added coffee and whiskey by Bath and Body Works which is just a really strong coffee scent. So all together, this was a great gourmand day. Like I love this scent, it was so good. Next to finish up coconut cream pie, I again went in with my Butterbeer Oil from Sugar Milk Co. And then on top of that, I put La Nuit Trésor by Lancome, which is a really beautiful scent. It's like vanilla and a little bit of rose. Like it's just a really good scent. I really love this scent. And it's strong and it lasts all day. It's a really good one. I will say that the bottle is a little hard to spray just because it's hard to hold. But other than that, it's the only complaint. Next, I moved on to A Thousand Wishes, which is one of my favorite perfumey scents by Bath & Body Works. It's just sweet and a little bit floral. It's a really nice one. And I decided to pair it with my newest perfume, which is Black Opium La Parfum. This is such a pretty fragrance. It's vanilla heavy. It's strong. It's just so good. And together with A Thousand Wishes, this was so nice. I really enjoyed this combination. Next, to finish up A Thousand Wishes, I decided to pair it with Sugarful by Michelle Germain. So this is just a scent bird vial that I had of it. I do already own the full size of it. It's just a sweet strawberry fragrance, and it's a really nice one. I really like it. And together, it just added more sweetness to A Thousand Wishes. It was nice. I really like this. So for my last scent of the month, I decided to use Pumpkin Cupcake. So this is just a really sweet cupcake scent. It has pumpkin in there, but honestly, you probably wouldn't know it was pumpkin unless you knew the name of it. Like I don't smell it and be like, oh, that's pumpkin. It's not like marshmallow pumpkin latte or any of those other pumpkin scents, white pumpkin and chai, that you can smell the pumpkin. But it's just a nice sweet scent. And I decided to pair it with Chocolate Musk by Al Rehab, which is a beautiful vanilla chocolate scent. Like this perfume is so sweet. If you love gourmand scents, definitely track down this perfume. I know it's getting more expensive and maybe harder to find because it's gone viral lately, but I did find mine on eBay, so you can definitely probably still find it there. To finish off the month, I decided to pair Pumpkin Cupcake with Charosa 71 by Sol de Janeiro, which is my favorite of all the Sol de Janeiro scents. This one is just the most gourmand. It's very bakery, sweet, nutty. It's just absolutely wonderful. And it adds just another layer of deliciousness to anything I've ever paired it with. And this was no exception. This was such a nice combination. So this is all my combinations for January of 2023. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks! Bye.